Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be covering how to install the Otter Browser. So if you don't know what the Otter Browser is, it is a, a project that aims to make the, the Opera 12 browser still a thing. It's a, it's a project that basically tries to bring all of those old features that you know and love. So in this article, I'm going to be covering the PPA, but I'll also be covering the app image for others. We have an, a link in the description where you can follow the instructions and get it going yourself. So to start off, you're going to need to open up a terminal and the terminal is how you add PPAs. Uh, so to add the PPA and the PPA, the acronym stands for Personal Package Archive. So this is just a server with Otter packages that we need. So let's type in add apt repository PPA Otter dash browser slash release entered the password and uh, press enter to accept it it'll create a gpg key and trust the database and all of that then we can just do sudo apt update and then it will if you if you look here you can see the otter browser releases right there and uh, from there we can install the program sudo apt install otter browser and this may take a bit of time Okay, once it's installed, just search for Otter. And there you go. And it is a Qt uh, browser with an Otter. It is Opera 12. And you can make tiles like you could in, excuse me, in the original Opera. Before it was changed to a Chrome type thing. It supports user scripts like the old Opera does. Uh, there are add-ons, and I'm not quite sure what it supports, but there's also content blocking, advertisement blocking, and I'm pretty sure it has a built-in uh, Adblock Plus uh, compatible setup. So now that it's installed on Ubuntu, we can get the app image. So I'm going to open up Otter and get the app image. So to use Otter with an app image, you'll need to go to the downloads page, find the app image, right click on it, select permissions, select allow executing as a program. From there, what you should do is you should move it out of downloads, click cut, go here, make a folder called app images. And in the, in the tutorial, in the description, we go over how to, to make a desktop icon. I'm not gonna do that in this video because it's kind of tedious, but all you gotta do is click run and the browser will open up like normal. And it's it's kind of got like a black thing here. Uh, I would recommend building this from source if you can. Uh, it still browses the web just fine. It's just the start page is kind of weird. Like if we go to, uh, to the website here, it loads the website just fine. It's just the new tab page. It needs work and uh, the app image. It's kind of weird. Uh, but hey, that's how it works. Uh, that's how you get the Otter browser. It's an Opera clone, I guess, or an I guess I would say an Opera uh, inspired browser to keep it alive. Uh, it's got the notes like the old Opera. It's got uh, a lot of different stuff and uh, you definitely should check it out if you like Opera. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.